Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video, sort of a tutorial of a very neutral and polished face finished off with my favourite YSL bright pink lipstick, just for a more summery take on a night out. So as you can see, I'm going to start off by using my Napoleon Purdy NP Set Pre Foundation Pore Perfecting Primer, just to prime my face to make sure it lasts long after that sweaty dance floor. I'm now going to be taking my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the colour Vanilla and I'm just going to blend that evenly onto my face using a foundation brush. This is great for a night out as it is a well wearing matte foundation which is highly pigmented and will stay firmly on that skin throughout the night unlike some other Julia foundations that will make you look shiny in no time. And don't forget to avoid any unwanted makeup necklines by rubbing some of that foundation down your neck. Now taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I'm going to use one pump and use my fingers to blend that into a triangular shape making sure to concentrate on any dark under eye circles and to follow it up above the cheekbones to aid with the contouring. I'm also going to be blending this into my T-zone just to brighten up my face. Okay, onto the concealer's actual purpose now. I'm using Rimmel's Wake Me Up Concealer, just to cover any blemishes and to neatly define the shape of my lips. Now, just to finish off with a light layer of my Face of Australia Translucent Powder, just making sure that I only cover the areas that are most likely to become shiny aka my T section. It's bronzer time and oh look I've hit pan. <laughs> this is my ultimate favourite bronzer when it comes to contouring. The famous NARS Laguna. So I'm just going to fan out my brush to create a neat line from the top of my ear to halfway across my cheek. Thus giving the illusion of a gorgeous cheekbone. And don't forget to blend that in down below the cheekbone lightly just to create a more natural effect. Also just blending up the sides of your forehead and along the bottom of your jawline. Now I'm going to take my Essence Bronzer in Blonde and I shall be concentrating that higher onto my cheeks. Another iconic NARS product, the Orgasm Blush. This is gorgeous for a night out and complements Laguna perfectly. Can you tell I have a NARS fetish? Once you highlight, you will never go back. And I'm using their multiple in Copacabana and I'm just going to blend that onto the tops of my cheekbones. eyebrow time and oops I forgot to show you what I'm using. <laughs> Rimmel's eye pencil in hazel is my holy grail makeup product. Brows are my can't live without feature.
Getting ready for the eyes now, I'm just going to prime my lids with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And surprise, surprise, I'm using my Naked Palette. Love this thing. Using the first and most well-loved shade of my palette, Virgin, I'm going to highlight my brow bone lightly, as well as the corners of my eyes, just to brighten them up a little. And now just covering my lid with this gorgeous shimmery colour, Sin. So I'm going for a more neutral look today so that my eyes don't have to compete with the bright lips. So taking the colour Toasted, I'm just going to blend that loosely into my crease. And going one shade darker now, blending in Hustle directly into the crease line. Now, I am not a fan of this eyeliner. It's Maybelline Hyper Glossy Liquid Liner. But it's all I have, so I'm just going to have to make do. Um, going to use a very fine line. I don't want to overpower it once again. Time for lashes! I'm using my Napoleon NP Set Lashes in Manchester. Going for a natural lash tonight. And I do apologise for the lack of footage here, but they just didn't want to cooperate. Promise I fix them after that close up. Just finishing off the eyes with my favourite mascara by Maybelline, concentrating particularly on the bottom lashes. And just a smudge of shadow on the outer lower lash line. I love, love, love this colour. I cannot talk these lipsticks up enough. They cost an arm and a leg, seriously, but I promise you, you will treasure them forever. I have never found a lipstick with quite the same silky texture. And oh my gosh, the gold. Oh. Now I'm pretty sure this colour is number 10, Rose Colt, and it pretty much speaks for itself. So, so pretty. So here is the finished look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I absolutely love this look and it can be redone to suit any bright lipstick colour. Don't forget to hit the like button down below to let me know if you want to see more tutorial style videos like this. And if you just happen to stumble across me, hopefully you'll want to see more because I promise you there is plenty more where this came from. I'll see you
see you guys next time.